So here I am on a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Central Park to give you the tour of just some of the things that you'll see when you come to Central Park in New York City. One of the best ways to get around Central Park is by bike, especially if you want to see all of it. So there are lots of bike rental places. This one's right at the southwest corner of the park and you can rent bikes by the hour and see everything you want to see. Another popular way to see Central Park is via pedicab. And here we are trying to be sold a pedicab ride. Yeah. One of the most beautiful but also most expensive ways to see the park is through horse-drawn carriage. Try bargaining to lower the cost. As you can see, when the weather's good, everyone comes out to Central Park, sit down, have a snack, and relax. is the mall, also known as Poets Walk because of all of the statues of poets that line the southernmost uh, part of it. It's one of the most photographed places in the park and there's been more movies done here than anywhere else in the park. It's so beautiful every time of year. Just a tip, if you do rent a bicycle or bring a bike into Central Park, you have to walk it on the mall. There's no wheeled traffic allowed. In addition to statues of poets, benches also line Poets Walk, and you can buy a plaque to dedicate a bench to a loved one. These are the steps at the northern end of Poets Walk, or the mall, leading to Bethesda Fountain. There are washrooms, public washrooms, in the steps. And quite a few years ago, there was a restoration of the underside of this bridge. You'll see how gorgeous it is. And here we are at Bethesda Fountain. You can see it's gorgeous weather today because it is packed with people. Right by the boat is a famous restaurant in Central Park called The Boathouse. It's a great view and a great spot, but just be warned, it's not cheap. New York is a city of artists and people who love artists. So one of the great benefits of coming to Central Park is all the free performance art that you get to see. I'm only gonna show you a brief smattering of it here because it changes from day to day and it would be impossible for me to capture everything. But here's just a brief sampling of all the different kinds of art you can witness when you come to the park. Remember, if you watch any one performer for longer than it takes to walk by them, then it's customary to put a couple of bucks in their bucket. After all, most of them, this is their living, or at least a good supplement to their living. This is Strawberry Fields, a designated quiet zone that has 161 species of plants and flowers planted in it to represent the 161 countries that existed when John Lennon was shot. People come from all over the world to place flowers and other mementos on the Imagine Memorial. 
You can bring your favorite items and place them there as well. Right at the corner of 72nd Street and Central Park West is the Dakota, a building of condos in front of which John Lennon was shot. If you have children, the huge Central Park playground is a great place to bring them. Keep in mind, it is unsupervised, so you'll have to stay with your kids while they're in here. But one of the other great things about the playground is that it has its own bathrooms, a rare commodity in something as big as Central Park. Another great place if you have kids is the carousel. Right beside the baseball diamonds, it's easy to get to from the playground and a little bit out of the way from everything else, so you can rest assured that you'll have some privacy while you have some fun. And these are the gates to the Central Park Zoo. If you'd like to buy tickets to see any of the animals up close and personal, you have to do so at the ticket booths. Conveniently located in the zoo is the Zootique for all your souvenir buying needs. And part of the money raised from the sale of the items in the Zootique goes to conservation programs for the animals. Well, that's it for today's tour of Central Park. We only got up to 72nd Street and then came all the way back down, but at 843 acres, it's almost impossible to see the whole park in one day, which is a good last tip for you. Plan on not seeing the whole thing, or if you are gonna see the whole thing, definitely rent a bike and plan on spending most, if not all of the day here. I can't think of a nicer place to spend the whole day in New York City than in Central Park. Hope you enjoyed your tour.